I got a Daisy feeling. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Achari Kirk. What's up? The Blue Beetle trailer just dropped. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Let's jump right into this. Here we go. Excuse me, Mr. Reyes? You finished scraping the gum off that lounger or what? Uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was this unexpected. direction. Not a rich. You always land on your feet, bro. Your hymen. They don't get out much. <laughs> I just want to rap. Jenny? God, what? It's your life. What? Do not open it. You went in to get a shop, and all you brought back was a hamburger? Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? What? Uh oh. How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's like the scene out of Aliens. Oh god. Oh. Jeez. That, that is some creepy looking yeah. stuff. Oh my god. What the? Post acquired. Who said that? Okay, it's gonna be okay. Oh, it's uh, like so bad. Tony Stark, Spider Man type <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's man. like Tony Stark <gasps> mixed with. Free entry systems ready. Uh oh. Whoa. Eh. <laughs> like Mission Impossible. <laughs> It's called the scarab. It's some kind of world-destroying weapon. Oh, jeez. It's designed to protect its host. Sometimes it does what you want, and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I, I, I think I cut a bus in half. <laughs> the scarab chose you, but it belongs to me. Oh. Lo, you feel for your family. Makes you weak. No, it doesn't. Oh. Whoa. That Cobra Kai training coming in strong. The universe has sent you a gift, and you have to figure out what you're going to do with it. That's right. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. Oh, what? what? Oh, yeah. Oh, Yo. that's so dope. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. I just want to <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, you're right. All that Cobra Kai training came in handy. Yeah. Because uh, my dude is, is well prepared for yeah. all the action that, uh, you know, is going to follow in this story. I don't know anything about Blue Beetle. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I'm not a, a Marvel fanboy or DC fanboy. I am a lover of both. All that to say that this does give me the vibes that I got from Spider-Man with Tom Holland. Yeah. I, I mean, just Spider-Man in general. It's a whole lot of stuff. I was getting a little bit of Venom as well just because of like the blackness that came onto That's his true. body when yeah. when the scarab connected with him. All that in a positive way, by the way. No, yeah, definitely. And I mean, I think the comparisons to Spider-Man, it can't be helped, but it's a good thing because, you know, he's a young guy mm -hmm. and he <laughs> gets, gets his connection with like an insect type thing. So yeah. obviously your first thought is like, oh, that's kind of similar to Spider-Man. Yeah. And he gets these amazing superpowers. And yeah, so so what if there's a comparison? But I think it's like so cool to see it in this type of context you know with this character and like he's got his whole family involved and well, all nice, of that the nice thing about you know cobra kai never dies is that he's got this sort of um behavior that it feels relatable like that young guy that a young awkward dude that a lot of us went through that phase i'm still going through it and <laughs> i don't know what it is there's like a charm to his awkwardness that, yeah. I, that is very adorable and you love to watch it there's a relatability to him and so that's when one of the nice qualities about Spider-Man is he's not a perfect superhero. Yeah, he's quite, exactly. He's, he's flawed, and that's what makes him, you know, cool because he's he's not perfect. And so I think using that, you know, the comparison to Spider-Man is actually quite apt. Well, also it's super fun to kind of start with 
superheroes from the beginning, right? Mm. I love watching the whole like discovery of superpowers montage okay. when they're like figuring out what it is that is their special thing. Yeah. And I loved that part at the end. We kind of felt like anime to me where he just made that massive sword yeah. and he was just like moving it around. So I was like, oh my God, the movement and just the sword itself. I just thought that looked so cool. Yeah, it did give me those kinds of vibes. I can't quite tell you what exactly it reminds me of uh, in terms of like a superhero from Japan, but it definitely gave me that sense and that style. I forget the name of the character, but in Samurai X or Kenshin, his okay. his friend who has like the massive ass sword. Gotcha. That guy. That It kind of reminded me of that, but I, I think that's cool looking. Yeah, but I mean, it seemed that he had some ability here that goes beyond just having like a weapon. It's like he, his imagination also plays a factor here where yeah. he can change the style of the... I mean, again, this is speaking as someone who doesn't know anything about Blue Beetle, but I'm enjoying that, and it definitely had like that sort of ninja vibe to the whole thing. So to have this science fiction superhero ninja guy with the wings and all, that's very exciting. I mean, yeah. that's fun. And to, I mean, I'm excited not just like as a you know uh, comic book film adaptation fan but also for kids like this feels like it's aimed squarely at like that pg-13 for the whole family grown-ups can relate to it but also kids can like a you know, it's something they sort of, sort of can look up to the way they would look at Spider-Man. Well, yeah. Am I making any sense? I'm yeah. a little bit sleep deprived. And, I apologize. No, but also um, I did a little bit of reading up on Blue Beetle, like literally just Wikipedia for two minutes before jumping on this. But um, apparently there were three iterations and they chose the most recent one being Jaime Reyes, okay. who is the Latino one, right? Okay. And so obviously I think that's like a really great choice to kind of show him and his family to have that representation out there. You know, it's super important. Solo Maraduena has talked about this. I'm, I'm so sorry if I've said his name wrong. Maraduena? Um, I'm sure he's offended. Yeah, I'm sure he's terribly offended. I'm yeah. so sorry. But anyway, he's talked about how important this is for him to have that representation out there. And I love how they've incorporated, like, the family and the community. And, and like you say, you know, for, for young kids to kind of see that on the screen and be yeah. like, oh, yeah, that's like a cool super hero that I could look up to like regardless of what your you know ethnic background might be yeah. I think he's a super cool hero I think it's a necessary balance especially from Warner Brothers I mean I don't know exactly what James Gunn has in store but he's obviously put his plans out there but that could you know we don't know exactly what that looks like until we see it right yeah and so with that in mind, you know, you have stuff like Peacemaker that is aimed squarely at adults, yes. right? And so I think this is cool because it gives that balance. You know, even the Batman, while it's PG-13, it's not aimed at the younger crowd. No. It's aimed at m a more mature crowds, even though it's PG-13. And the only reason it's not R is because I don't think Warner Brothers would allow it. <laughs> and so I, I am glad that we have this just to sort of balance things out, especially in, you know, this day and age where... I mean, maybe people would d uh, disagree with me about this, but I feel like so much content is being geared more and more and more at grownups uh, in a very, you know, aggressive way that it's cool to have something like this that is very obviously like cool for kids and for grownups, but it's like, it's definitely a kid's film. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like it, it kind of, like you say, falls squarely into that like older kid to like teenage mm -hmm. kind of area and and i like it. it's delightful you know like i like his friends as well it, it looks like they're gonna have like a really fun motley crew sure. of people that they're you know going on this adventure with yeah very excited you guys yes. thanks so much for hanging out hopefully you enjoy this i'm jabby koi this is achara kirk peace out